Welcome to Track Day Junkie. Have you ever had this happen to you? Ah, oh, god damn it! If so, you can fix it with this video yourself with just using a laptop and a K DCAN cable. That's it. And so if you are an uh, E89 owner as myself, uh, you probably heard of the issue with the park and brake failure. It's been, uh, it's been around for a lo very long time, uh, basically since 2009 when the car came out. And um, the only solution to, to it has been to uh, get the car into the local BMW dealership and have it uh, updated, have the software up updated. And uh, that can that can set you back quite a quite a bit mean quite a bit of money, uh, and uh, that's been like the only solution available to, until now. I have um, a tutorial for you uh, how to do it uh, by yourself at home with uh, just like a, a laptop and a cable. I'm, I'm gonna show you step by step. All right. So before I go ahead with the uh, the DIY. I'm gonna give you a slight backdrop to the entire uh, situation I've had with my car. So, I, first of all, I bought the car last year, 2018, um, from a very nice gentleman in uh, in Germany. And uh, I, I knew when I uh, bought the car that the uh, the car had a somewhat lousy battery. So I uh, drove the car home back to Sweden and. Um, uh, lazy as one is, I didn't bother with uh, changing out the battery uh, as I was supposed to do. Um, not knowing at the time that BMWs are notoriously sensitive to um, to a bad battery. And one day when I was uh, reversing into my garage here, I have a quite steep driveway, so I nearly stalled it. And at that exact moment, the the yellow P appeared in the display, and you, I heard the the uh, bong of dread. So I and then I, at the time I instantly thought that this has definitely something to do with the bad battery. So um, finally got the um, finally got around to uh, like replacing it. Uh, bought a new battery. Uh, went over to a friend and I had it uh, switched out with his help and I also registered with his uh, with his computer and. I was absolutely sure that once that was dealt with, I could just um, uh, like reset the, uh, the, the park and brake failure. So we read the code, it was designated as uh, 6017 uh, and it said a faulty speed sensor, which I know is false, it's, it's not accurate uh, because everything, has, everything was working properly up to that point. I could disengage and engage the, the park and brake just as before, so no mechanical issues at all. So I knew it was some some sort of software failure. But unfortunately, this particular code is permanent, and uh, that's it means exactly that. It's uh, it's on uh, you you can't clear the default memory, uh, plain and simple. So what you need to do is. Uh, you need you need to update the module that controls the um, uh, the park and brake, um, and my friend could also see that it had triggered the fault code due to low voltage. So that's that's something to keep in mind. Um, if you have a C4 with a bad battery, replace it immediately before this happens to you because it's very annoying, and also it can. It can, it can cause some other defects or I mean faults or whatever. So if you have it, yes, if you have a bad battery, replace it instantly, so you don't have to go through what I've just gone through. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's it. I'm gonna show you how to actually make it go away. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is. Uh not the laptop that I actually updated the car with. This is um, this uh, this is a new one. So I've just installed the uh, the programs that uh, that you need, like uh, Impa, 
Bing, KFB, and CS Expert, and so on. Uh, so let's begin with the cable. Um, you want to go into the device manager. Now, uh, let's see here. You go to port, com ports. You select properties for this one. Port settings, go to advanced. Now this needs to be in uh, the com port number needs to be com1, as you see here. And also the latency timer needs to be one. Um, if it's not, you're not gonna be able to connect the car uh, or the, uh, the laptop to the car. So uh, this is what it should look like. All right, so. And also a good way to to see if uh, the, uh, the, con the, the cable connects properly is to just uh, select input and uh, this, uh, this circle here is black. If it's not, then there's something wrong with, uh, with the cable. And I actually had some issues with that the first time around. So uh, there was some issue with, uh, with, the dri with the drivers. So I had to use the window default drivers um, instead of uh, the ones that are uh, supplied with the BMW coding tool package. Okay, so once you're done with the cable, you select uh, BMW coding tool. You will get this error message because uh, the uh, well, you are you are having a 64-bit uh, operating system. So what you need to do to make it work is you need to download this specific file. Uh, you can just Google it and you will find it. So the MSCOM CTL file. Um, you will download that file and you will place it in the um, windows slash syswow64 folder just place it just place it there and then you go into the powershell as the admin you need it needs to be the admin or it won't work and you will find the uh, syswow folder it's called this and uh, you need to do uh, a registration of the file Right, and it says it uh, it uh, successfully uh, registered the the uh, the file. All right, so you're down there, and there we go. The program works. All right, so you go to select SP source. You find the E89 folder wherever you put it. Press OK. Um, then you will go to uh, NCS Expert over here. Find the NCS Expert folder. Click OK. Edit bias. Click OK. Win KFP. Easy apps. NFS. All right. So. Um, then you click update SP datum. Uh, you press no. All right, and uh, when you're done with that, you click update win KFB. You press no again. All right, then we are done. Uh, I just uh, skipped ahead because uh, that update it uh, it took a few minutes just so you know. So don't be uh, don't be alarmed. It uh, it can take a take a few minutes. But now the uh, now it says that the update is ready. So we're uh, we're good to go. You can just uh, close the program and open WinKFP instead. Okay, so when you open WinKFB this time, it's gonna update the, the files that we just uh, updated in uh, BMW coding tool. It might uh, take a few minutes as well. All right, we're in. Now you can uh, select uh, import. You press P A B B D. Now you're gonna find 
Let's see. Gonna find the E eighty nine folder. Um, and let's see, I'm blind. There we go. You select that one, and all the files. You select uh, just uh, select them all and open them. You click yes, and then you hold down enter. And it's done. You go to import again. P S G B D. And you select the uh, ECU folder instead. Same again, select all. Yes, and hold down enter. There we go. Import once again, assembly line data. You click the data folder, do not open it, just click it. And once this appears, you click replace. All right, there we go. It took a few minutes that as well. Then after that, you will find once again the uh, E89 folder. You now go to data, find the uh, GDATEN folder. Select all. You copy this, then you go to Easy Apps NFS, and uh, let's see here, data, G data. You uh, just replace the files in this folder with the ones you copied. All right, there we go. We are all good. So, after that, uh, oh wait, we can actually do this. Then we're back in uh, WinKFP. Uh, now you're all set to do the actual update on the car. So, after this, you can uh, basically go down to the car, uh, connect the, the cable uh, to the car, and select Comfort Mode. You choose, uh, click choose Z USB, and you will find all of the modules in this uh, list here. And since we already know what we're gonna be updating, I'm just gonna click down to it. Uh, uh, let's see if I can find it anywhere. Here we go, EMF 89. This is what you want to be updating. You click this number there, you press OK, you click Done, you enter your WIN number, now I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm uh, not uh, in my car, but after that, um, you're going to click uh, Program, and it will, uh, it will ask you if you want to um, uh, update that uh, uh, that module. Just uh, you know, follow the instructions. Click yes. It's gonna program. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, and uh, then you are done. Okay. So after the update of the software, the EMF EMF uh, software. Um, when I did it, I started the car like. 30 seconds after uh, after I updated it, and um, the yellow P was still there, so I instantly thought that okay, um, either I fucked something up along the way, or it plain, plainly didn't work at all. 
Um, I confirmed that the, the new software was, was uh, updated and uh, I had the correct date and everything, like today's date. Uh, I took the car around, around the block for a spin and it refused to go away. Um, all right, so admin to defeat, put the, the car back in the garage. A couple of days later, I was just grinding it the entire time, thinking about how to solve it and just thinking that I, I probably should somehow reset it. Uh, like two days later, I went down to the garage, started the car and everything was fine. The, the yellow P was gone and uh, <clears throat> yeah, everything was working properly like it should. So about uh, so yeah, and that uh, that sort of taught me something about recovery time because that's the thing which I learned. Um, recovery time is um, something the, the car needs to uh, to have. It depending on the manufacturer and everything like that, model what whatnot. Um, the car needs some some so sort of, yeah downtime. Uh, it needs a time to like actually properly update the software. It doesn't take like five seconds, it, it takes a while. I'm not sure exactly how long this particular model of a car take, it takes, but uh, like I said, I left the car alone for two days and when I got back, it was it was solved. So, I mean, keep that in mind. It's not gonna be, well, I mean, perhaps you have uh, luck enough to just instantly have it, but for me, it was like this. So if it doesn't work directly after you've updated on the module, keep this in mind, just you know. And uh, yeah, that's it. You should be by now. You should have like a parking, parking brake uh, failure-free car. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's that. That's it for this tutorial. Goodbye.